Guess I'd better get back to the restaurant. Aren't you coming to the train? No, I can't. I'd be late for work. I'd better say goodbye now. Dorothy Dandridge, an icon of the silver screen, embarked on a journey that not only broke barriers in Hollywood, but also carved her place in the broader tapestry of history. As we delve into the life and career of Dorothy Dandridge, this documentary aims to unravel the layers of her cultural impact, tracing her path from the glitzy confines of Hollywood to the pages of history, from her early struggles and breakthrough moments to the lasting impact she made. Welcome to Muse Cafe's iconic trail. Before we dive in, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you never miss any new uploads. Dorothy Jean Dandridge was born on November 9, 1922, in Cleveland, Ohio. She grew up in a family of performers, and her mother, Ruby Dandridge, was an actress. Dorothy and her sister, Vivian, began performing at a young age as the Dandridge Sisters, a singing and dancing act. The Dandridge Sisters gained popularity in the 1930s for their performances in various venues, including the Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York City. A group toured with big bands and became known for their entertaining and lively performances. Dorothy made her film debut in the Marx Brothers film A Day at the Races in 1937, where the Dandridge sisters performed a musical number. However, it was a small, uncredited role, and her early film opportunities were limited. In the 1940s, Dandridge began to secure small acting roles in films such as Four Shall Die in 1940 and Drums of the Congo in 1942. During this time, she faced the racial segregation prevalent in the film industry, with limited opportunities for black actresses. The Dandridge sisters disbanded in the early 1940s, leading Dorothy to pursue a solo career. Wait in the shop and see, see my son and man. She focused on developing her acting skills and continued to work in small film roles and on the stage. Dorothy Dandridge's transition to film marked a significant phase in her career as she sought to establish herself as a serious actress in the challenging and racially segregated Hollywood of the mid-20th century. In the early 1940s, Dandridge moved to Los Angeles to further pursue her acting career. This move was motivated by a desire to break into the mainstream film industry, where opportunities for black actors were limited. Dandridge recognized the importance of honing her acting skills, and she sought training to improve her craft. She studied with renowned acting coach Harold Clerman, demonstrating her commitment to becoming a serious actress. The turning point in Dandridge's film career came with her lead role in Otto Preminger's Carmen Jones in 1954. This musical adaptation of the opera Carmen marked a breakthrough for Dandridge, earning her critical acclaim and making her the first African-American woman nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress. In Carmen Jones, Dandridge took on the role of Carmen, a character originally from Georges Bizet's opera Carmen. The film was a contemporary adaptation set during World War II with an all-black cast. Dandridge's casting as the lead was groundbreaking, as it defied prevailing racial norms in Hollywood. The film was directed by Otto Preminger, a filmmaker known for his bold and unconventional choices. Preminger's decision to cast Dandridge in the lead role was a departure from the industry's typical casting practices where black actors, especially women, were often relegated to supporting or stereotypical roles. Dandridge's performance in Carmen Jones received widespread critical acclaim. Her portrayal of Carmen showcased her acting skills, 
sultry singing voice, and captivating stage presence. The film's success and Dandridge's performance were praised for breaking racial barriers in Hollywood. Her role in Carmen Jones earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. This nomination was historic as it marked the first time an African-American woman was recognized in this category. Dandridge's achievement was a significant step forward in the recognition of black talent in the film industry. Carmen Jones had a profound impact on Hollywood's perception of black actors and actresses. Dandridge's success demonstrated that a film with an African-American cast could be commercially viable and critically acclaimed. The film was a commercial success, further challenging the notion that films with black leads could not attract mainstream audiences. The film's success contributed to a shift in the industry's understanding of the marketability of diverse stories and actors. Beyond its impact on Hollywood, Carmen Jones held cultural and social significance. It provided representation for African-American audiences and showcased the talents of black performers. Dandridge's breakthrough helped inspire future generations of black actresses. Dorothy Dandridge's breakthrough with Carmen Jones remains a crucial part of her legacy. The film is remembered as a landmark moment in the history of African-American cinema and Dandridge's contribution to breaking racial barriers continues to be celebrated. Despite her breakthrough in Carmen Jones, the industry's systemic racism limited the number of substantial roles available to her, contributing to the challenges she faced in sustaining her success. The racial barriers and stereotypes Dandridge faced had a tangible impact on the trajectory of her career. Pictures, they can be musicals with uh not uh, as meaty a dramatic role as maybe what I would like as long as it's a good picture. You can't always expect to get uh, um, a picture that has many dimensions such as the one that, that, that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, turned down two roles, uh, Aida Goldfarb and Rigoletto O'Brien. Why did you turn them down? Um, well, actually, I feel that uh, the next picture that I do should uh, should be completely different uh, as far as it's possible from the one that I did from, from Tom and Joan. Have you been reading any scripts of new shows that you might be interested in? Well, I'm having one script sent to me from Mr. Zanuck. I have a contract at 20th Century Fox Studios for one picture a year. Well, you've heard from Zanuck. Uh, have you heard from the Palladium? Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I I have heard from the Palladium. I'm going to be there even for just for one night, which is kind of a thrill for me. This is on the 29th. Uh, I'm going to do a television show from the Palladium. Sunday night, the Palladium. Dorothy Dandridge faced significant racial barriers and stereotypes throughout her career, reflecting the pervasive racism in the entertainment industry during the mid 20th century. During the 1940s and 1950s, Hollywood had stringent racial segregation and opportunities for black actors and actresses were severely restricted. The film industry often relegated African-American performers to stereotypical, subservient roles such as maids or comedic characters. Dandridge struggled against typecasting as Hollywood tended to cast black actresses in roles that perpetuated stereotypes. These roles often portrayed black women as exotic, hypersexualized, or confined to servant roles, reinforcing negative racial caricatures. The industry's beauty standards at the time were Eurocentric, and black actresses faced challenges in being cast in leading roles or roles that celebrated their natural beauty. Dandridge's success in Carmen Jones challenged these standards but did not eradicate the prevailing biases. Despite her talent, Dandridge found it challenging to secure meaningful and diverse roles that showcased her acting abilities. The limited scope of roles for black actresses restricted the range of characters she could portray, hindering her artistic growth. Dandridge had to navigate a racially charged climate both on and off screen. 
The racial prejudices of the time were not limited to the roles she played, but also affected her interactions with studio executives, fellow actors, and the broader Hollywood community. Dorothy Dandridge's journey reflects the broader struggles of Black performers in an industry marked by racial biases. Her resilience and achievements, particularly in breaking through with Carmen Jones, contributed to the gradual dismantling of these barriers, paving the way for increased opportunities for future generations of Black actors and actresses. Dorothy Dandridge had a profound cultural impact that extended beyond her achievements as an actress and singer. Her contributions transcended the entertainment industry, influencing broader societal perceptions and paving the way for future generations. Dandridge's success, particularly her historic Academy Award nomination for Best Actress for Carmen Jones, in 1954, broke significant racial barriers in Hollywood. As the first African-American woman nominated in this category, she challenged prevailing norms and contributed to the ongoing struggle for racial equality in the film industry. Dandridge's trailblazing career opened doors for subsequent generations of African-American performers. Her achievements inspired other Black actors and actresses to pursue careers in the entertainment industry and strive for recognition beyond racial boundaries. Dandridge became a cultural icon, admired not only for her talent, but also for her style and grace. Her fashion choices and elegance influenced the fashion trends of the time, making her a symbol of glamour and sophistication. Beyond acting, Dandridge made significant contributions to music and entertainment. Her cultural impact goes beyond her individual achievements, reflecting a broader shift in attitudes toward race and representation in the entertainment industry. Her legacy remains an important chapter in the ongoing narrative of diversity and inclusion in Hollywood. Dandridge's career unfolded during a period of racial segregation and civil rights struggles. By achieving success in a predominantly white industry, she confronted racial prejudices and contributed to changing perceptions about the capabilities and marketability of Black performers. As film opportunities dwindled, Dandridge returned to performing in nightclubs to sustain her career. While these performances allowed her to showcase her singing talent, they also reflected the limitations she faced in securing substantial film roles. Dandridge struggled with mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. The challenges she faced in both her personal and professional life took a toll on her well-being. While Dorothy Dandridge faced hardships and challenges in her career and personal life, her legacy stands as a testament to her contributions to breaking racial barriers and paving the way for greater diversity and representation in the world of entertainment. Dorothy Dandridge left a legacy that extends beyond her achievements on screen. Despite facing numerous challenges, her impact on the entertainment industry and the broader cultural landscape is significant. Dandridge is remembered as a cultural pioneer who broke racial barriers in Hollywood. Her groundbreaking achievements, including the Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in Carmen Jones, paved the way for future generations of Black actors and actresses. Her life was filled with tragedy. I wish she were more widely recognized and celebrated, akin to the iconic status of Marilyn Monroe. Her beauty was timeless and classic, making her arguably the most stunning actress in the history of Hollywood. It's disheartening that she didn't receive the recognition and treatment she truly deserved. She will continue to be celebrated as an icon of elegance and beauty. Her fashion choices and refined style continue to influence perceptions of glamour, particularly for African-American women. Her image remains timeless, symbolizing sophistication and grace. Dorothy Dandridge's story is one of resilience, talent, and cultural transformation. From her early struggles against racial barriers and typecasting to her historic breakthrough with Carmen Jones, 
Dandridge defied norms and paved the way for future generations. Her legacy extends into the realms of representation, beauty standards, and the ongoing pursuit of diversity in the entertainment industry. From Hollywood to history, the cultural significance of Dorothy Dandridge encourages us to appreciate not only the talent and achievements of a remarkable artist, but also the social and cultural context in which she lived. Dandridge's legacy challenges us to continue the conversation about representation, diversity, and the power of individuals to shape the trajectory of an entire industry as we honor Dorothy Dandridge's contributions. We acknowledge the importance of preserving her story and ensuring that her cultural significance is recognized and celebrated for generations to come. Thank you for watching another episode of Iconic Trail. Miss Dorothy Dandridge. Here I go again. I hear those trumpets blow again. All aglow again. Taking a chance on love. Here I slide again. About to take that ride again. Starry-eyed again, taking a chance on love.